Uh, advice for product managers or technical managers, Netflix is like a restaurant. Netflix is a company, you don't know, Netflix, Netflix is, is giving you, you this service uh, for movies and uh, TV series and there is a huge amount of uh, artificial intelligence, particularly search and recommendations that they do and they do other things as well, but there is a, a huge amount of technical purpose that they come up with and so on and uh, one of the things that they talk about a lot is uh, how they measure their uh, uh, results for for their artificial intelligence algorithms and ultimately they say that the ultimately KPI so the the K performance indicator that they use is uh, retention and uh, this made me thinking a little bit and I want to give you a piece of advice today it made me thinking when I started uh, my first business and then um, and this first business was uh, a business in the field of entertainment see I like video you know and I like that so I, I, I love to throw parties before and uh, basically I threw parties and I was in Chicago at the time and I noticed that no matter what I did people would come to parties always two days one was uh, Friday night and they would leave relatively early like around 11.30 midnight or Saturday night and they will leave later. Some years after I got involved also with another type of business, a restaurant and I was part of uh, launching this restaurant. Now you might say a mad scientist is a product manager doing a restaurant but I'm Italian by, by heritage so I, I cannot escape that so I had to be involved into restaurants and uh, I was doing the marketing for this restaurant and, and my goal was uh, in this marketing uh, Basically, the goal was to bring more people outside of the normal hours of operations because we had a lot of capacity that was not utilized. This is a problem number one for all the restaurants. And the fact is, no matter what you did, discounts, parties, uh, uh, events, whatever, people shows up systematically at 6 p.m. and leave at 9 p.m. mostly on a Thursday, Friday and Saturday night and maybe some of them on a Sunday night and there is and they all show up at the same time uh, the restaurants gets full at that time and then some of them leave because there is not even in a space but there is really no way that you can fill the other times with the restaurants very very difficult that's the consumer behavior now why that is connected to Netflix and artificial intelligence because you know, despite what they say that they have algorithms that, that optimize the one KPI, which is retention, so keeping their use on the users on the platform, I believe there is a fundamental behavior of human beings, which is basically looking for things like Netflix when you have time, when you have spare time, you have nothing to do fundamentally. And even if they send you emails, remind, push through notifications, and they make this uh, um, they make these uh, recommendation systems behind them as complex as possible. I think there is really, really little they can do in moving you from in a, in a period of the day or, or in a moment of your life where you have other things in mind from being um, working on something else and, and going to watch a movie on Netflix. I think the process of going and deciding to watch the movie it's something that is governed primarily by your life piece and there is very little that this uh, recommendation system can do and that's so the teaching of this video in my opinion is uh, you know as long as we can aim at building more intelligent systems that can improve if you like business performances I think there is a limit to this that is governed by um, people behavior like you cannot go too much against people behavior. I think it's a, a illusion to think that artificial intelligence can manipulate people to the point of completely change their behavior. Um, I mean, of course, you can manipulate some of their political opinions if they watch YouTube or they stay on Facebook. But that is part of an experience that they already a part of. Uh, they have decided to be part of. But one other thing is really taking them from going to the movie theater or taking them away from going eat the pizza or spending time with their family and moving them onto, onto Netflix. I think that's, uh, 
that's a much harder uh, endeavor. So I think for everybody that uh, is looking into leveraging artificial intelligence for business, I think the teaching from this video is really think through profoundly about the consumer behavior because uh, there, there are situations where I think even millions of dollars of investments in artificial intelligence may give a, a relatively small benefit. All right? So with that said, I'll see you the next time.